Springtime is here, and for the WKU football team, that means it is time for spring practice. Reporter Chris Rippey has more from Houchin Smith Stadium. After finishing the 2020 season with a 5-7 record, the Tops are back on the gridiron, looking to improve before heading into fall camp. The Hilltoppers are currently in week two of spring practice, and while there are many returning players on Western's roster, there are a lot of new faces taking the field this spring. Along with those players, several additions were made to the coaching staff as well. Head coach Tyson Helton says he is excited about what he has seen out of the new additions to the program so far. I am so excited about this football team, uh, just how hard they work, uh, their demeanor, how they approach every day. Uh, it's a football team that you want to coach. And the same thing for our staff. Uh, we have great camaraderie uh, as players and coaches. So it's really exciting for me right now as the head coach to, to be a part of that. Among newcomers on the staff is new offensive coordinator Zach Kitley. Kitley comes from Houston Baptist University, and he did not arrive in Bowling Green alone. Joining him from Houston Baptist is quarterback Bailey Zappi, wide receivers Jareth and Josh Stearns, along with Ben Ratzlaff. Kitley says he is confident that his offensive scheme is the right fit for WKU and is ready to put points on the board for the Hilltoppers offense. At the end of the day, the goal is to win. Um, you know, like I said, when I got here, you know, Coach Helton brought me here to score points and to have a, a, an offense that, uh, you know, is, is up in the top of the country. And that, that's always a goal for me. Uh, it always has been. No matter where I go, that's kind of what I'll do. I think we've got the pieces here uh, to make that happen as long as we can stay healthy and, and we execute. WKU will continue practicing throughout the month of March and will wrap up their spring practices on April 17th with the annual red and white game. The annual red and white game will be free for all spectators. Capacity will be limited due to COVID-19 guidelines.